Hey guys, Rebecca Austin here with Strive for Savvy with another Kajabi how-to tip for today. And what we are going to talk about today is search engine optimization inside Kajabi. I get questions a lot about whether or not you can maximize your search engine optimization using the platform Kajabi. And yes, you can. In fact, Kajabi is particularly competitive because there are some settings in there that just make it so much easier to be able to do your best on ranking well in search engine optimizations. But there are a few strategies that you do want to consider and a few things to do inside your Kajabi platform. So I'm gonna walk you through those just really quickly on some of my top tips on maximizing your SEO or search engine optimization. The first thing that you wanna do is whenever you're creating something inside Kajabi, make sure that you are filling out the SEO and sharing sections for the page, the blog article, or also in your main settings found in your market marketing settings. So if we're inside a blog post, for example, so here is a blog post that I created on getting started with Kajabi. Down at the bottom of the blog editor is an SEO and sharing section. And this is where you can type in a custom URL. If you don't put anything here, then they will just default to whatever title that you put on the blog post. Uh, so in this case, I did customize it just a little bit because you can see where here, the title is new to Kajabi, important tips when getting started, and the link is tips when getting started with Kajabi. Just simplified it just a little bit to make things easier. Then you can customize your page title, description, and image. Now, if you leave this blank, Kajabi is going to default these settings to whatever your title is, and typically the first sentence or two of your content. However, you can customize this to be more specific so that it is targeting your keywords, that your audience may be looking for that this article covers and also to give quick information when someone is looking at this because of course if you're doing a sharing this is seo and sharing so if we post a link to this link on social media there is that preview that will automatically pop up and this is what will show in that preview so this gives you much more optimization of what your audience will see to intrigue them to be able to click on it or to visit or to rank it higher in SEO. So that is the first tip to help you get started on your ranking. The other thing that is a really great thing to do is to post consistently and I know that should pretty much go without saying, but typically when you are doing articles or podcasts or anything like that, the more consistently that you post, both in your social media and on your blogs and podcasts, the more that your audience is expecting that content and has a better awareness of when to expect it, but also your search engine uh, options your google and all of the search engines will also have that consistently it just helps with the algorithms that they use you can also then do cross referencing so when we are in an article like this we want to have a cross reference if possible to other articles or other things that they can look at inside um, your site to be able to keep them on your pages longer also helps with search engine optimization. One thing to keep in mind too is that when we do a search, uh, Google now owns YouTube or has owned it for a while actually, but YouTube is a part of the Google conglomeration. So when you do a search, in this example, I just searched getting started with Kajabi, you'll usually start off with an ad or a group of ads and then maybe a top ranking one or two, but typically YouTube is going to rank and have videos listed pretty high on the list, even before sometimes paid ads or some of your top ranking 
options. So really one of the top tips for boosting your SEO is have a YouTube channel. If you have a site that warrants a YouTube channel, you can be posting videos regularly and consistently and start building your YouTube audience and getting your rankings in YouTube at the same time. And when you do that, you will be ranking yourself at the top of the Google list as well. Here's another thing that you can do to see how your site is ranking is you can go to site and then your domain.com. And that will show how you are currently ranking with Google on your particular sites that you have set up and the different rankings that are going on for your site. If you see something that you don't like there, that gives you the option to change it. So for example, on this one, I had forgotten to change my SEO and sharing settings. So this is how it's showing up with Google. So this gives me the tip that, hey, this is one of those sites that I need to go in there on my website, these pages on my website that I need to go in and make some changes. For the most part, as long as you follow those steps and keep things as consistent as possible, double check what Google has for you, cross reference with other blogs, and uh, make sure that you put in your SEO and sharing for your articles and on your settings. And then of course your settings, when you go to settings and then site details, and when we scroll down to the bottom and you have your SEO and sharing that you have set up how you want that to appear for Google as well. So enjoy putting together your SEO strategies for your site. And if you need more information about Kajabi and putting together your program and becoming a Kajabi expert, be sure to check out our Kajabi mentorship found at striveforsavvy.com forward slash special. You'll see a link in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can stay on top of our latest tips and strategies to help you with your Kajabi business.